Hi Scorpio, welcome to your September 2017 love reading. It's Rena here. A couple of things. First of all, my camera, I can't look through it. Um, the touch screen is totally blurry, so hopefully it'll come out okay, but I may be a little bit distracted, so please forgive me. The other thing is that I'm offering a series of love readings on Vimeo and this is something that I have been wanting to do for a while now and it's exciting because it's a new platform and these readings I design designed the spread for it's called ready for love and for those people who are looking who are not necessarily in a relationship right now you may particularly find this more to your liking, I don't know, but you can uh, check me out. I'll provide the link below. It's a combination of predict predictive stuff, kind of like, you know, where will you find this person when, along with the, you know, what can I do to make it happen? And I think that's the best. So you can check that out. And if you'd like a private reading, I also will have a link below to my website. Alrighty, then, let's see. <laughs> it's so weird to like be putting these cards out and have no idea if they're in frame. I did order a new camera, but uh, then I canceled it. We'll see what happens. <gasps> this is gonna be very interesting. I kind of have a basic idea of where everything is, but it's just so strange. And the other thing, too, is that on the touchscreen, it lists how much time has elapsed so that I can tell, you know, how long the videos are. Now, I don't even know that, but oh, well, that's temporary. A lot of swords. Oops. Put these over to the side. Okay. A lot of swords energy here. Three. Swords can relate to air signs. So Aquarius. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. If that's... I, I say that because sometimes Scorpio's feel drawn to Aquarians. You're both fixed signs. It forms a, a, a square, those two fixed signs like that. But still, you know, sometimes people have this irritation for one another and they still end up being intrigued and, and eventually get involved with one another. So then the other two air signs are Gemini and Libra. Now, the overall theme, now that doesn't mean that that's what this is about, because the overall theme is the Three of Swords, and this is a card of heartbreak. So anybody can, you know, break your heart. Sometimes this could be a lover's triangle, so there might be three parties involved, and that is creating some kind of conflict for both of you or both of you, all three of you, unless one person doesn't know what's going on, of course. But um, the, the thing that um, is also true about the swords is that it's all about thoughts. That's one of the reasons why I think that it's associated with conflict, the swords, as a suit. Because a lot of these cards, if you think about it, if you know anything about the Tarot, there is like conflict associated with them. The Five of Swords. Then you have something like the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords in this case. So somehow you feel the sense of disappointment. And 
Um, let's look at the past position to gain more clarity on the situation. The past position, we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, this could actually be an Earth sign because I did get in the current situation Pentacles, unless there's two different Earth signs. But we could be talking about Taurus, which is your opposite sign, or Virgo, or Capricorn, or a combination thereof. This is a card that's associated with give and take. So when people are experiencing relationships where it seems like they feel like they're doing everything and the other person is just taking, that can feel very frustrating to them. And that can be indicated here that you may feel like you were in a situation where it wasn't a two-way street. And there, it, could, it could have actually been something that involved you being, you know, giving of your resources to another person and them just being a taker, taking advantage of your generosity. And in those types of situations, it is a very interesting dynamic. And one thing that I would ask you to consider if you do feel like this was what happened in your particular case is ask yourself this question. What was my ulterior motive in being so giving? Because usually the person that is giving is not just doing so out of the goodness of their heart. They're actually hoping to ensure that the other person is going to, to stay with them, you know, be loyal, all those things that people give to get. And so that would have to change on your part, where you understand that it's not just about tit for tat, that it is when, you, when you're in a relationship it can't be centered on the material anyway. Now this could also be a situation where perhaps I was even thinking that you thought somebody was going to get divorced. Maybe they promised that to you and it didn't happen and that's represented by the three of swords. There's still three parties involved and you feel that sense of betrayal in a sense because they said they were going to do something that they didn't do. Now, it can be that that person is afraid of losing some kind of financial estate of theirs or something like that, and they may even use that as an excuse. And now what you have here is a card that's associated with waiting. This is a perfect example of how I don't know if this is in frame. I'm assuming it is. And the Seven of Pentacles is the farmer's card, waiting for the harvest, wondering if things are going to transpire for, for them. And so this can be you trying to assess the situation to see if it's worth your while to continue in it. And... Um, you may be tempted to leave. You may be feeling this sense of that the other person didn't keep their promises. The higher message is the Six of Wands. This is actually a very positive card. So as a spiritual message, it is talking about some kind of victory. Now, they could be in regards to the other person and finally leaving their relationship and you getting what you want. But this could be unrelated. This could have to do with your career aspirations. And perhaps you're going to be busy and feeling good about yourself regardless because you're going to have some kind of accolades given to you. And it couldn't come at a better time if that is the case because you may be thinking that your whole life is wrapped up in this situation and you might forget that you have other aspects of life to consider and to be grateful for.
What crosses you is the Queen of Swords. Now, this could be simply a situation where you have, um, a, <laughs> oh boy, I'm not, I don't know if I should go there. This is a card that I would say in the, I'm reading this in the reverse pos position, is the feminine principle gone wrong, gone awry, uh, especially in terms of behavior that is very vindictive and cutting. So do I think that a Scorpio person can exhibit this behavior? Yes, unfortunately I can. And I, I seem to have pretty good, a pretty good connection with you Scorpios out there. So apparently you're big boys and girls that you're able to take what I'm saying because actually Scorpio is a very powerful sign. When Scorpio people have situations where they feel vulnerable or they feel like they're being jerked around in some way, they tend not to be like I would associate with this page of cups, like that Piscean energy of being like kind of the, the sitting duck or the victim, the person that is sitting there and people are just dumping on them, they tend to lash out themselves sometimes. And this is a card of possibly lashing out because you feel that somebody is not being straight with you, they're not doing what they said they were gonna do. So really it could be going back on their word and in your bitterness, you could be tempted to rip them a new one. And that would be not a good idea. You may have a lot of justification for feeling betrayed by somebody. And this, and I may not even be talking about why you feel betrayed, but you have to take the higher ground. It's the, the temptation of Scorpio to seek revenge is is too much the case in a, in a lot of uh, a lot of instances, and it really doesn't serve you. You really are powerful when you take the high road. So don't don't fall, don't sink to somebody else's level. And maybe they're not really bad people. Maybe they just are afraid of change. Maybe they have a hard time risking because they don't know if the relationship with you is going to last, perhaps. Maybe you're not having 100% good times with this person anyhow. And they may be thinking to themselves, wow, I don't know. We're fighting all the time, too. I don't know if I'm really I'm jumping from the frying pan to the fire. By the way, this could also be, um, and I was thinking too, this could be the spouse of the other party. Um, this could be a woman, the scorned woman. So it might not even be you. It might be somebody else that is being vindictive towards you. I mean, they find out about the situation. You know, we are, um, when I'm recording this, it's the day of the lunar eclipse. So there might be a lot of secrets that get revealed. And even in September, depending on when you watch this, the timing issues are going to be different. But there can be, who knows, there might be aftermath of the, eclip of the eclipses into the rest of the year where you have these surprises that occur, revelations. And really, these things are also meant to kind of um, push us forward. Catalyst to get us to move to a better set of circumstances in our lives. So anyway, what is coming up is represented by the Page of Cups. Now what could this be? Or who could this be? This could be somebody who is artistic, who is very gentle and non-aggressive. 
someone who is very intuitive and childlike. Again, this could be something to do with a child. That's why I was saying it's like perhaps there is this a child that's being a pawn that's being used to keep a person that you're involved with, with attached to another relationship but this could also be a facet of you and it's funny because I just got done talking about the difference between Scorpio and this uh, Pisces type of mentality but what's interesting about Pisces uh, or, or about your sign is Scorpio is that you could be very together and savvy in many areas of your life and your love life could be the one area that you get blindsided and so this is what I'm saying is that you may find out that you've been a fool that you've been you've been um, taken for a fool okay by somebody and maybe there was no intention of some someone leaving their relationship and you thought it was all about this you know sometimes I mean I've heard that where the person says yes I'm going to leave but I have to wait until I have to wait until such and such time because of the money I don't want my wife to get any of my property or what have you and it's all just a ploy to keep you on the line and so you, when you finally push for some kind of resolution you end up seeing the situation for what it really is now this could be something that you're not even pushing something is just revealed and you're kind of like really you know it might not have been something that you expected but regardless it can be a sign that you perhaps lied to yourself because sometimes with the page of cups you know I do think of the Piscean tendency to see what you want to see in a situation not necessarily see the situation for what it is and perhaps there were red flags that you kind of glossed over because you didn't want to have to really deal with it and this may fe you may feel like you were played for a fool but just understand that there's no such thing as an experience that does not serve your highest good it's going to help you in some way you may not know it now but it will help you and uh, the outcome is a card of restoration the four of swords this is a card of going by yourself retreating and taking a breather being very maybe you're reflecting on things maybe you're just physically worn out and you need some kind of restoration in that area but it's a it's a peaceful card and perhaps you didn't even realize how stressed out you were in this relationship because you were like really being strung along perhaps I do feel that way because of that page of cups I feel like somebody who had the wool pulled over their eyes but I, I go back to this this is a spiritual message the, sub, the six of uh, wands <laughs> yeah is that six of wands yeah it's a card of victory so something is going to be good for you and maybe that will be a nice, uh, I don't know, saving grace that helps you to deal with the unpleasant reality that may have accompanied whatever happened. But I think you'll be okay. I really do. I think that you're going to bounce back and that everything's going to be a-OK -okay as you go into your solar return for some in late October and the others in November. Okay, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this and take care of yourselves. Bye.